That's, that, that's integrity that you learn in the hood, nigga. Real hood niggas know you can get your whole motherfucking head caved in. For real, for fucking with another nigga's wife. And for that girl backstage, they make it publicly clear. Never mind who you thought I was. I'm Rick James, bitch. Check the mic and make sure it sound right. Alright, y'all, so uh <clears throat> hmm. I've lost a little sleep since I've been home about a man accusing me of disrespecting his wife, as he said. Charlemagne in the background said. What did he say? And I didn't hold on, no, 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 no,
The last thing we were texting about was we were actually trying to figure out, because I told y'all I've been very uncomfortable about talking about what God used me to do and blah, blah, blah. Like, I did it as from my heart. I didn't know him. I don't have a history. He ain't my brother. We ain't family. We ain't childhood homies. So it was such a random assignment, and I ended up doing it. But for him to go on the airwaves and say, I wanted to box you in the mouth because you disrespected my wife. My wife blocked you. I blocked you. And I just unblocked you a month ago. That's a fucking lie, bro. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. That is a lie. Look at this, man. Me and your wife were communicating August 11th, 2022. August 11th, 2012. Look, I said something that was seven hours and three, eight. She said, without fail. Like, I got receipts. I'm sending, I'm sending images of my new Rolls Royce to your wife. Like, I know y'all always got nice cars and this and that. Like, if she blocked me, if I actually disrespected her, as you allege, and you felt the way, how are we communicating August 22nd, 2023? It's bullshit, bro. Like, that's that's like, look, look what your wife just texted back and said, absolutely beautiful, talking about me purchasing an island in Turks and Caicos. That was August 23rd, 2023. Come on, man. And the last time that all three of us was on the text chain, we were actually going back and forth trying to figure out when can we finally do an IG live with all three of us finally talking about what God put on my heart to do on behalf of the marriage. So I'm going to ask you, sir. Since all of this is played out for the public. Did I disrespect your wife? Or did I not? Because why would your wife be communicating and responding with me with all the good energy that it's always been? And why would you be communicating with me and your wife on a text chain? And why am I texting you directly and you're responding? There is no problem. There is no disrespect. Just be a man and say, when you went through the same shit that I was going through, I just needed an out. I needed to just like, yo, I, I'm not fucking with none of that. Just say it. And then here's the last thing that nobody knows. When I had my psych med meltdown, it was around 2017 because I woke up to the news September 11th. And probably like a month later, is when this goofy ass psychiatrist gave me the psych med saying it's gonna help you to calm down and stabilize your mood and it fucked me up. The psych med episode had already came and went. Me and my ex were still together over a year, year and a half after the whole thing went down. Me, you and your wife have been on calls. We've been texting, we've been communicating and we've been good. So for you to say, I stopped fucking with you because you disrespected my wife and my wife blocked you and I blocked you and we just wasn't fucking with you. And every time you, you came to Atlanta and you texted me like, yo, pull up to the crib. You know why I was inviting you to the crib? I was inviting you to the crib because you were in town DJing. I wasn't inviting you to the crib to hash out no issues about me disrespecting your wife because I never disrespected your wife. You never said I disrespected her. She never said. It's a lie. Just be a man and be honest and say you went above and beyond for me out of the goodness of your heart. And I didn't have it in me, nor did she, to step up and help you when you was in the middle of a crisis. Y'all could have flew to Atlanta. Your first lady could have pulled my ex-wife to the side and had five, six lunches and dinners 
and did whatever she had to do to try and get her to stay committed to the marriage. You could have pulled me to the side and had conversations with me. You could have did anything. And even if you had attempted to help, she would have still made her decision to say, no, I'm out. I praise God every day that something that God put on my heart to say to you and your wife actually helped y'all in any way I could. But let's not be out here lying and creating characteristics in a man that ain't there, bro. I'ma box you in the mouth over some shit. First of all, hee hee ha ha, nigga, for real. <laughs> but second of all. You lying on me, bro. You just making shit up. I got receipts. August 23rd, text messages. I'm not gonna show y'all what we texting about. Text messages, text, responses, text. Where is the person? This is his wife. This is first lady. Where is the person? She's giving me Rashawn's new cell phone number. August the 10th, 2022. The psych med and the supposed disrespect happened in 2017. So what I want us to do is I want us to be adults and I want us to leave the conversation alone. And I want you to go ahead and keep wrestling with what you're wrestling with, which is that brother went out of his way and he was there for me. And I've been laughing at him on my show. I've been talking shit. I've been throwing shots. I've been looking at the rumor report. We've been donkey in it a day in it. Read my captions and all my shit. And you've been just take every time a guest come on your show, you say, hey, man, what's up with Tyrese? I'll be like, damn, Envy, why are you trying to bait niggas into talking shit about me? You did it to Ludacris. You did it to Tank. You be bringing my name up when people come on the show. And I'm like, what, what, my bro? That's why I came into the show feeling the way. Why I'm on my Instagram? I'm gonna tell you why I'm on my Instagram. Because everything about what you said was on a public platform. And I'm addressing this shit publicly to let the world know your girl, your baby mama, your wife, not envies, but anybody. You can leave me in a private room and you can secretly record the conversation. I will never disrespect another man's wife. I will never disrespect another man's woman. As a matter of fact, when women break up with dudes and they're going through what they're going through, if I actually know the nigga and this ex-wife or ex-girlfriend is all of a sudden available, I won't even fuck with that. That ain't who I am as a man. There's too many women out here to be out here messing with somebody if you know somebody that they used to. Like, come on, man. That's, you, that, that's integrity that you learn in the hood, nigga. Real hood niggas know. You can get your whole motherfucking head caved in. For real. For fucking with another nigga's wife. <laughs> we don't play those games. Too many, too many niggas have been laid out in the hood for crossing that line. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks for watching. Make sure you bang that subscribe button. This is One Buck Podcast. Be heard.